How's it going, YouTube? Yeah, Pat Mac here, coach of the Sacramento Sands, slash playing in the finals of the Mythical Mayhem League up against DJS, coach of the Tentacle Pirates. You can see our team up above, their team down below, both teams range in speed, or of course, as well as six Pokemon that we bring and six Pokemon, and I think DJS is going to make to our match. Uh, you might notice that he has less Pokemon than I do. Eh, it's not quite true. He just has Scorbunny, Satoddle, and Golduck, which I don't even think there's a chance that those Mon are coming. Um, he hasn't really used them this season, so these are the seven that I've really kind of prepped for. Uh, and uh, part of the game plan here is around Trick Room, but it's mostly about denying Trick Room from his side of things. I think that Trick Room is a very important part of his game plan. Um, he's just got very strong Mons, Magirna, Ursuline, and Blood Moon, um, and Sinistrad that I think do amazingly well in Trick Room. And then we want to buff and debuff. So I have both Howl and Coaching, which will be great. I also have Eerie Impulse and Snarl, which I think will be um, pretty solid against this team. So anyway, we'll see what six he decides to bring in just a moment. All right, here we are in the match, and it's just slightly different than what I thought was going to be here. There's no Salamence, and instead there's a um, Alolan Raichu, which isn't too much of a surprise. It just, it's here. They have another Mon that's, that, uh, that we thought would be here instead. Um, I think I'm very likely to see a, um, like, fake out lead, uh, potentially, so I just kind of kind of keep that in mind um, with the Raichu here. So I kind of want to have something that can be good against that. Um, without sacrificing too much and I think that's probably going to be um, our safety goggles um, Entei here. I think that's probably just an important piece of the team um, And after that's a little I don't know it's a little questionable what the the next mod should be I kind of feel like it might be this mod because I can also pivot with that Which seems kind of good and then I'm probably going with these two in the back Yeah, I think that's probably where I'm looking at um, for game one here there's quite a few Fairy Terras from them, so I'm going to kind of keep that in mind. Um, and then we'll we'll kind of see how we want to play out the game uh, based on that. I didn't bring too much in the way of um, methods to hit fairies per se, so um, if they do decide to Terra those, then it becomes a little bit more difficult for us. So, yeah, I'm going to lock this in. So no Passimian and no um, Shan Pao for the first game. I think they're both pretty good mons, and um, there's a very good chance that I end up like bringing them to games two or game three, depending on how this goes. So good luck, have fun over DJS. Should definitely be a good game. Really looking forward to this. Uh, his team has done very well this season, and um, I mean, obviously ours has too. I mean, we're in the finals, right? Uh, okay, so not too surprised to see something like this. Um, I think probably my best option is going to be to look to roar one of these mons. And then maybe, um, yeah, I kind of want to roar the uh, the mon here and then probably look to like Volt Switch. I think could be a reasonable play. But Sacred Fire also just looks very good into both these mons. Neither, well, actually the Magirna has a way of of um, kind of changing that. I could also Snarl, which I don't hate. So I actually kind of like a Snarl and a Volt Switch um, could be okay as well. But I think I'm probably, you know, I'm kind of looking at Roar here and then um, I think a, I almost want to protect. Maybe let's try that. Because I'm, I, I, this kind of gets around like if it looks like they're gonna go for damage, um, straight up here. Okay, and this is a rage powder. It is almost certainly rage powder and um, trick room. So we'll get rid of this. They'll get to know that we're, um, yeah, that was definitely gonna be trick room right there. Uh, because, yeah, trick room, uh, roar has a negative priority basically. So okay, and then we have that mon here. Um, okay, I think I'm good to just sacred fire this. And I think I also want to... I think I almost want to pivot here as well, I think. Um, yeah, I don't really want to give this one like a free opportunity here. But I do like the idea of volt switching. Um, probably looking to bring in Ray. Iron Defense, okay, that's fine. Um, and we do get to see that this one is faster, but I'll go and Volt Switch here. Uh, and then I think we're looking to bring... Yeah, I think we're definitely looking to bring out um, Rayquaza. I could also go for... 
Nah, let's, let's go Ray. Just in case they're going for like... I mean, they wouldn't go for a Matra Gacha, right? I'm not sure what move they're going to go for here. But Sacred Fire will be nice to get a burn here. Um, or perfect. Okay, so if they are a body press set, then we're looking much better much better against this. Cool. And Matra Gacha um, won't do too much here. So I'm not too concerned about that. And then I think the play is going to be... Um, probably just to attack the Sinistra, I think. Yeah, I think it's probably just attack the Sinistra, and... Is this the mod I want to Terra this game? Can I think of a reason to Terra something else? Um, I'm a little concerned that the Arceus, um, will potentially be a problem. I also don't know what the what the mod is running, so I kind of want to scout a little bit. Yeah, I kind of want to scout a little bit. So let's just Sacred Fire here. And then I think I... I also don't want to give a free setup turn, though. Like, Terra Flying Air Slash is pretty good, though. Right? Um, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to protect on this turn. I'm a little concerned about a potential free setup turn with uh, Iron Defense, but... I still think this is probably my best option. Judgment, okay. So you're deciding that Entei is, is the threat. Yeah, Sacred Fire does a ton to that one. We get a burn there too as well, so we're two for two for burn, which eh, is kinda cool, not gonna lie. And they get Trick Room, okay. Um, that doesn't sound so bad, actually. That Yeah, that doesn't actually sound too bad. I think here I'll go for, um, I think I'll go back out into Buzzly, I think. I could swap this one into Buzzly. And then I could also hit the... Um... Yeah, that did a lot of damage. I don't really want this one in right now. I want to I kind of keep it a little safer. So let's swap out here, and then I think the play is just to air slash the incoming Mon, or this one, whatever it ends up being, right? It's not this. Whatever it is, it's not that big of a problem. Oh, I don't really want to give them free turns in Trick Room, though. Let's go and attack here. Okay, it looks like they're not swapping. Unless they're swapping out Arceus right here. I don't really see that being the case, though. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's likely. Rage Powder, okay. Oh, I guess this is going to give them the free swap. Not exactly something I wanted to see. But at least I get my Follow Me user in right now. I know there's McGeon in the back as well at the moment. Yeah. Not my favorite situation to be in. That doesn't do too much, though. That's kind of nice. And we're getting good shift damage on the Arceus, um, kind of as we play out some turns here. So let's see what they have. Machine Head, I believe, is... Yeah, that's you. Okay. Um, all right. I think in that case, I'm probably looking to go follow me. I think there's a good chance that this is Dazzling Gleam. I could also... Um, I could also Eerie, Im actually Eerie Impulse and Protect I like. Eerie Impulse and Protect I like a lot. So let's go and do that. Because Eerie Impulse will do a ton of, uh, yeah, a ton to like reducing the amount of damage we're taking from this um, Magirna. That's not too much damage, cool. We get our Eerie Impulse off. So this is really gonna matter for the next turn, not so much right here. Um, it's kind of looking like a, um, yeah, that actually looks like I might be able to survive another two hits, which is really good. This is kind of looking like I'm going to Terra the, um, I'm going to check Trick Room turns here. So we have two more turns of Trick Room. I could Protect on this turn, and I could Terra Air Slash the Arceus. Which could work. Um, I don't hate that plan at all. I could also swap this out. I could also swap this out for Entei. Yeah, and I actually like that play a lot. Let's go and do that. And then I have my faster mons. Oh, that's nice. What do I have? Oh, I guess this is going to be a free... Yeah, Luna. Okay, so no Muck and no um, the other mon right now. Okay, there's a pretty good chance that our Electabuzz is going to go down on this turn. Um, well, sorry, the next turn. 
because I think there's a good chance that they, there's maybe a good chance they tear it here. Or not tear it, they, that they target it, that's what I was thinking. Okay, not too bad. Okay, so things are kind of looking good. I'm feeling pretty good about our position at the moment. I think they go to target Buster here. We've got one more turn of Trick Room. They're down to three Mons. Yeah, and I think the play now is to follow me, and I think it's just to Sacred Fire here. No. Yeah, I think it's follow me and... Uh, is it follow me Snarl? Maybe it's follow me Snarl. Yeah, let's do follow me and Snarl. Because I think, like, having Electabuzz go down this turn is actually kind of good. Like, I don't feel bad about that, that at all. Okay, we're gonna, yeah, we'll definitely lose Electabuzz, but, um, this gives me the free swap after Trick Room ends, which I really like. We'll reduce the damage of the Ursaluna and actually the, the God, because Judgment is a special attack. And you have Recover. Okay, so you're very bulky. I'm kind of assuming that Iron Defense is your last move. And I think I'm good to just go into... I think I can just go into this one. Right? Like, you just moved Blood Moon, so you can't use that move this turn. Um, and I think my play is to... I kind of want to Terra Air Slash on the incoming, but I don't know if I need to do that. I think I'd much rather hit the Arceus, I guess? I don't know if that's great. Maybe I just go Air Slash. I think I just go Air Slash here and just Snarl again, right? That, that, that actually seems kind of nice. Vacuum Wave. Oh, you have Weakness Policy. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, good to know that that's, that, that's what you have. And you're faster, so you judgment off first. Okay. Hmm. Okay, not looking great, to be honest. Not looking that great, to be honest. But that's pretty solid damage, actually. And now... Ooh, now I'm down to Zacian. Um... Now, I do have Sacred Sword. I feel like there's a, there's a chance that they... Um, do I Terra Air Slash or do I just attack? I think I just attack. Mm, these ones could be Terra Fairy, um, um, so that's like a concern, I guess. But I almost want to just Terra Air Slash. I almost want to Terra Air Slash to this spot, actually. And I think the play is just to play rough here. Okay, that's... This is okay, I think, actually. This is totally okay. Hmm, maybe. Eh, kind of. This is kind of okay. It depends on how fast the Arceus is. Because I went a little bit slower on Zacian. Um, it went a little bit heavier into bulk. He... D oh, he has the... Oh, he did Terra. Okay, okay. I was gonna say, I, maybe I should have Sacred Sword, because the, um... Because he has the, um... The whatchamacallit, um, I can't think of the, the name of it, um, he has the defense boost from Iron, Iron Defense, but actually, oh, did I, did I air slash, I think I, yeah, I should have air slashed that, yeah, I should have air slashed that, that's okay, I think this is okay still, because Terra air slash should do still a good amount of damage here, hmm, not as much as I wanted, let me be real. Not as much as I wanted. So I think now I'm gonna need to, I think I need to air slash this now, cause I think I actually pick up the KO there. And then I think it's, this one's a little interesting. It's, I'm not sure, I think it's probably, It's. it's gotta be Sacred Sword, right? Cause at least this is neutral damage. Am I, yeah, and I can't tear it at this point, right? So. I do know I'm faster, which is, I guess, is nice. Does this KO? 
Oh my god, that's so close. Alright, I don't think I'm winning this game now. Oh, it's so close, please. Oh, the trick room might be really bad for me. Does that go down? Oh, I don't know if that was good or not. <laughs> I don't know if that was good or not. Okay, so at least I know this is weakness policy now. Like, at I feel good about having that info. But you get a soul heart boost. And we're gonna have blood moon. Um, yeah, this is bad. I, I think I lost this one. Because I think the play is pretty simple, actually. Yeah, I think the play is actually kind of simple. Um, yeah, I think the play is super simple, actually. Okay, I, I guess... So I've lost this. There's no real reason for me to do anything different, right? Um, I guess it's gonna be just Earth Power here. Maybe I could have read that earlier. I don't know. That's what it is. I, I probably live a Blood Moon, actually. But I won't live a plus one Dazzling Gleam, which is what they should go for. Okay, so we pick up the game one loss. Um, I think there's there's definitely a case to be made for me playing this more aggressively. Um, because I think I could potentially start off with a lead that threatens a little bit more. And then I just need to make sure I'm not allowing that Arceus to get free set up like it was going, uh, what it, like it was going for. So, yeah, good game one. Honestly, really good game one. But the weakness policy, like, I know he's used it in, in weeks past, um, but the weakness policy was a really good bring. I mean, there's only one weakness, right? And if you can proc it yourself, then you're in a pretty good spot. So I think I actually go with a, what is my play to go for here? Like I almost want to lead Ray just because it threatens that lead that we saw. And I think it's pretty good against everything actually. Like I almost wonder like why I didn't lead it in the first game. But leading Ray here I think does a ton of damage. I could also, I mean the Entei lead is also quite good, right? Maybe there's a case we made for me looking to roar out the Arceus. That would actually be pretty good too, I think. I could also go with this as... Uh, yeah, actually I like this, because then I can Eerie Impulse some stuff. Um, I don't know how important this one is. Uh, like, obviously there's a ton of Ice Weaknesses, right? There's only the Magirna, but... I still don't know. I... I kind of want the Passimian though. The Passimian kind of looks good, doesn't it? Okay, I think I'm gonna bring Passimian also. And then, I guess it's Zacian. I guess it's Zacian. Yeah, I mean, they didn't show any super effective coverage for it, right? So like, there's not really a reason for me to switch that. I think I really misplayed that game though by my prioritizing of the Arceus and the Magirna on that one turn. It definitely should have been Terra air slash the Arceus and it should have been um, um, Sacred Sword, the Magirna, that, that was, or the, the Ursa Luna Magirna switch in, right? Um, th I think that was just a mistake. Hopefully it doesn't cost us in, in the grand scheme of things, but, uh, looking back on it, I think I should have played that turn differently. That's okay. This is what it is. Um, we'll see what he leaves with here, though. Because I do really like the, I like this lead against his Magirna, like Arceus set up. But if he switches it up on me, like it might not be as good. We'll see. Okay. This, I don't know if I'm that concerned about actually. Um, Cause I think I can just earth power either one of these mods, right? Um, I'm much more concerned about the uh, Magirna, of course, but Let's go and head and hit this, and then I can Eerie Impulse the Magirna. And this kind of like, kind of splits the difference on getting damage on stuff as well as um, kind of stopping some of the stuff that they could be doing here. Oh, is that a crit? That was a crit. Okay, I was gonna say, I don't think that we okay with that. Okay, that's pretty big. I mean, it's at minus one now, um, but they also get the free Trick Room. I'm assuming with Ursaluna. So that's maybe a problem. Now I happen to know that we take a hit with um, 
Uh, yeah, I happen to know that we take a hit with, um, what's the name of this Pokemon? The Electabuzz. So I think I'm just fine to do after the Magirna. Uh, and I almost want to just Fury Impulse it again. Like, is that a bad idea? I could also protect. I don't hate that play. Yeah, I don't hate that play at all. I know that this Mon's at minus one, um, so it's doing less damage to me, which is good. It goes for Earth Power. Okay, that's nice. So getting this Protect was really solid. And again, I do know that I take this hit, so I'm not too concerned about it. We do take some Dazzling Gleam chip, but that's not too bad. It's admittedly a little bit more than I wanted to take, but that's fantastic damage. Oh boy, okay. Uh, in that case, I mean, do they have a switch into this? Not really, right? Like, you could bring the Sinistra in, I guess. Um, but I don't know if I'm too concerned about that. So I think I just go for this, and then... Um, I'm kind of a fan of Eerie Impulse in this as well. Because if I pick up the Magirna KO, then this one is locked in at minus two. I'm, I'm good with that. Yeah, I knew I'd take that hit. I'm assuming I take the Dazzling Gleam here too. Yep, yep. Excellent, so we'll get the KO here. Oh, this this game is going so much better. Yeah, having some more offensive pressure up front has been really nice here. And getting this Eerie Impulse is nice. Now the downside is if they have Arceus in the back, which I would assume that they do, then now they still have that same game plan of, um, yeah, exactly. So they still have that same game plan to, um, to weakness policy, right? So in that case, I think I go Ice Beam here and I go Follow Me so I can't allow this setup to occur. And this, I think, is definitely the way to go. And you are the last. We take that hit, no problem at all. And we pick up this Ice Beam, huge damage. Almost enough for a, pick, for a KO. That's hella nice. And we'll get the free swap, which is good, I think. Um, there is still the chance of us having the, um, the like, weakness policy stuff going on, but... But I could be slower and pick up a KO. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Um, I think I. What are we looking at on on Trick Room turns here? This is the last turn of Trick Room. Okay. In that case, I want to pick up. Hmm. I think I want damage on that. Do I need my Terra for anything else? Mm, not really. No, not really. Okay, I'm just gonna hit this then with the Air Slash. And I mean, I could lose my Terra, but if that happens, it happens. And I think I just low, low kick. And I'm just gonna try to pick up this guy. Because I think, oh, they're Terra. Wait, no, that's me Terra. Okay. Whew. <laughs> okay, I'm a, I gotta admit, I was a little concerned about that for a minute. <laughs> Um, but yeah, if they, um, I mean, they could Terra. Don't get me wrong, they could go for a Terra here. And they do, shoot, okay. Uh, so I guess I'm not gonna get the, the massive amount of low kick damage I want. Oh, I could have taunted this. Oh, I could have taunted this. That would have been the play, actually. So I know I have the damage to KO the Blood Moon on the next turn. So I'm a little less concerned about that. We do live this hit though, which is fantastic. Oh, the special attack drop though. That's just nothing. That's so little damage. Air Slash is great damage though. This is this is good. But I think they're gonna go after, yeah, they get the iron defense. Yeah, that's not what I wanted to see to be honest. Um, I think I am gonna go for a taunt on it this turn though. Um, am I? I'm just gonna go for an attack on it, I think, and then let's just pick up this KO. And I'll look to taunt on the next turn. Mm, how do I wanna do this? Yeah, I think that's the way. Let's, let's pick up this KO. Oh, we live it! Yes, yes, yes! Okay, please. Yes, okay, we're gonna get free damage here and we're gonna pick up this KO. 
This is excellent. This is... This is what I want to see. <laughs> this is this I love to see. Uh, it, oh damn, that is a way less damage than I thought it was gonna be. Um, I'm gonna get, that was that was kind of sad. Um, what item? What item are you? I want this info. It's like the main reason. Chopple. Your chopple. Ah, okay, okay. Good to know. Very good to know. If we if we manage to win this game, then like that's huge info. Uh, and I'm gonna taunt here. Um, I'm assuming. Oh, you have heat wave. Okay, so you have Heat Wave, Judgment, Recover, Iron Defense. Interesting. Okay, so I'm glad I'm not going to Terra my other Mon. Um, like, I didn't try to uh, consider tearing the... Um, what do you call it? Okay, but now I can go for, like, Howl coaching this turn, I think. And I think that puts me in a pretty good position to break through. Because I'll be at plus three. Yeah, I think I just go Howl here, and I also go Coaching. And I think that gives me kind of the best position to win. I could also just... Actually, maybe the play is to attack. Maybe the play is just to attack this. Yeah, I think actually the play is to attack this. So I just play rough here, and then I Coaching, and then I can get really good play rough damage on the next turn. The downside is how much does this do? Okay, that, I think that gives me like two more turns. Yeah, I think that gives me two, two more attacks, which I think will help. Cause now I should be able to play rough and then I think I just coaching again. I think this'll, this'll really help me out. As long as, I mean, okay. Yeah, I get another, I get another play rough here. Man, this is, I'll admit, this is a little scary though. This is not the end game that I was hoping to create. So we just play rough, and at this point I might as well just, um, do they have the taunt still? They still have taunt for another turn. Um, I might as well just coaching again, I guess? I don't know, I'll just attack, but, um, yeah. This turn is not super important from the, the Bizimian. Okay, we get to go to game three. Whew. All right, so feeling feeling pretty good about how things went there. Feeling very good actually how about things went. I, I, that was that was a pretty solid game. I'm happy with how the team did. I think the plays I made worked. The Rayquaza living and the eerie impulses from Electabuzz were so so clutch that game. I think Ray lived like probably three times when I thought it was going down, so that was perfect. Whew, okay, we're on to game three of the finals. Man, how hype is that? That's so exciting. I can't think of a more exciting moment. Uh, <laughs> um, I think I, I like the um, the setup that I had for, um, for the game two. I liked the pressure that I had um, right off the bat with those mons. I think I don't need to try to waste my Terra though. I think I can just kind of go for it early um, and just get the damage that I want um, right away. Uh, having the coaching and the taunt there was really good for Pacivian, so I really want that. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I think this is the way to go. Heat wave, judgment, iron defense, recover. Okay, so I know the full RC is set. I've seen trick room, dazzling gleam. I've seen moonblast. Blood Moon, Earth Power, Vacuum Wave. Okay, there's no Protect on the Ursulina. I don't know anything about the the Muck or... Okay. Okay, just trying to think through what my what my plan is and what I already know for these games. So Chan Pao and Entei stand in the back for this one. I really like the game two setup. I think the Entei was really good in game one, but um, I don't think I need it for this last game. I feel I feel good about the team. And you're just going with this, okay, that's fine with me. I mean, I felt very good about this setup, honestly. And I have no problem with just, like, Earth Power and Eerie Impulse U. Um, like, is there a reason for me to switch that up? I don't know, I don't think so. I do want to tear this immediately, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, I kind of like just hit and like, mitigate your damage. That seems like a good play. 
Yeah, and this makes me not weak to Dazzling Gleam anymore. I'll get it at minus two, and if they don't, um, if they don't protect, then I'm gonna take deal a ton of damage. If they do protect, then I'll deal some damage, and I'll also get them to minus two special attack. Yeah, this kind of seems good. Like I feel pretty good about this same setup. Um, I'm not going after the muck this time. I'm just going after them here now. But that's honestly fantastic damage. Ice punch. Okay. Ooh, that's a little bit more damage than I wanted. Okay, so I can potentially follow me and then Earth Power in the beginning again this turn. Um, which I don't hate. I can just follow me here. Um, this feels, this still feels good to me. Um, like, I'm not going to be okayed by either one of these mods. Yeah, I take the, the knockoff, which is unfortunate, don't get me wrong, but um, like I'm still not getting okayed at all. We'll pick up the KO here, and I still have my Protect turns that I can use to stall out some more Trick Room, and the Magirn is down. So I, I really like the situation that I'm in at the moment. And the Cult of Luna, huh? So I think now the play is Protect um, on both. I just want to stall another turn out here. Um, like, I don't want to try to... Um, yeah, I think the I think the play is protect both, and then I'm looking on the next turn to what is the next turn looking like? Hmm, I guess maybe I needed more damage on the muck. We'll see. We'll see what this is looking like. Cause I know there's the Chopperberry on. Yeah, this is actually kind of looking like a two, like a double KO for them. I'm not, I'm not feeling too great about that. Maybe I didn't plan this out as well as I thought I did. It's almost certainly Arceus in the back, though. Oh, what were you going for? And Blood Moon. Huh. Well, in that case, I think I... Okay, I think I Earth Power here, and I follow me. Because the, the Muck is kind of a bit of a concern, I think. Um, from their side of things. So I think I want to take this Mon out. Or at least get it low. Oh, they're tearing. They're tearing Ursaluna. Okay, so that's Terra Fairy. Okay, so the Tropical Berry is not going to matter. And also, we're going to be able to hit Arceus no matter what. This is interesting. What are they doing here? Are they... Oh, maybe they're Moon Blasting. Poison Jab. Oh, that might pick up the KO for my Thermon too. Yeah, I think this is gonna KO. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that does KO. Uh, okay, so this becomes a little bit more difficult. So I know I can potentially stall another turn of Trick Room, right? That's fine. Ooh, did I... Maybe I needed to prioritize the muck more. So I think the play now is... Uh, what are we looking at in terms of turns here? We've got one more turn to Trick Room. I think I want to Coaching and Protect. That feels like the most impactful play right now. Even though we're going to take a ton of damage. I'm going to take a ton of... I'm going to take a ton of damage. I think... I think Pasimi can live a hit. The Terra is tough though. The Terra might be enough that it, it kind of deals with me here. But if I'm them, I'm kind of going after the Pasimian right here. Yeah, I mean Poison Drop I think that there makes a ton of sense, but I think the I think the other attack is going Yeah, it's going there. I'm actually kind of surprised that they didn't Moonblast there. I don't know why you wouldn't Moonblast. Because now I get the recovery off. Which seems good. And we get the coaching boost, so... I don't know, this is pretty good. I think this is okay. I admittedly am not feeling super great about it, but now that Trick Room's done, um, this is still pretty solid. I think I low kick here. And I think I play... Could I coaching again? Maybe I coaching again. For the defense boost and for the next turn. Yeah, let's do that. 
Yeah. If I had... So the plus two, I definitely have enough to take that one out now. I have the Lumberry, so if they get a poison on me, then I'm a little bit better off, but... Ooh, Moonblast, I think, is going to pick up this KO. Yeah. Oh, man, the Terra Moonblast. I don't think I can 3v1 this. Yeah, I don't think I 3v1 this. I just don't think there's a chance. I just... I, I, I'll i take too much damage, and then Arceus will probably finish me off. I mean, I, I definitely go for this attack. Yeah, I mean, fair. Right, vacuum may make sense, right? You get your priority while you can. Um, even if it isn't much damage, right? Like, that's still the right play, I think. Um... I think getting the coaching was the right play, though, because now I'm taking less damage from this muck, so... Like, even though it's super... Oh, that dealt way more than I thought it was going to be. Now, I think I can... Can I take two hits, though? What am I at right now? I'm at plus three, right? All right, I, have to, I think I have to go for the Sacred Sword hit here. This needs to KO. Oh, are you kidding me? That's so close. Oh my God, that's so close. I mean, that's game. That's game now. What a game. What a game. Ah, oh, that's so close to KOing. Good game. Good game, DJS. I feel really good about how I played in the finals. I think maybe I should have prioritized the muck a little bit more. Maybe I could have just gone for the eerie impulse and like repeatedly eerie impulse the um the Magirna um and like look to KO the muck, but I don't know. Hard hard to say exactly um if that was the if that was the right play or not, but I think letting the Blood Moon have as many turns as it did in Trick Room wasn't so great for me. But honestly, well played to DJS. Congratulations to him on uh, on the victory here. Uh, getting yet another TGR Championship. This dude is just racking him up. So, um, yeah. And if you'd like to see some more of our content, whether we're playing VGC, Doubles, Masters, all those different sorts of Draft League, definitely stick around, like, subscribe, and all that stuff. And I'll catch you on the next one.